It's War Dragon Time RPW here with another training video. Today we're going to talk about leagues. There are many leagues in this game. There's bronze, silver, gold, platinum, sapphire, and diamond. But which one is which and what is it about? So first of all, let's talk about how you know what league you're in and if you're moving up. On the bottom left hand corner there's a trophy. If you click on this trophy, the center tab is going to be about their top player ranking. So if you use the arrows, you can look at within your league and you can look within your global if you click it again. Now let's go over to the top teams tab. This is what's going to tell you what league you're in and if you're moving up. Currently our team is in the gold two angry dominus group. And if you'll see here, if I click the arrow again, it shows our global rank and rating. Now on the right hand side, you see the word ongoing. Above it is an info button. This is what you are going to click on weekly to see where you need to be in order to be promoted. Right now it ends in four hours and 38 minutes. And it says I need a global rank of 1575 by the end of the week, but I only have 1646. So I know that I'm not going to move up. Now, how can I tell if I want to move up? You know, a lot of people don't know if they want to move up, if they want to drop down. So let's go over that next. Under the League Info tab, you can scroll clear to the bottom and you're going to find the Bronze Leagues. The Bronze Leagues are going to get daily tokens of 60 and 70. This is why a lot of higher level players don't really like to play in bronze or silver. They really need more egg tokens than this every day just to be able to breed a dragon because as you grow, your dragons get stronger and they become even more difficult to grow. So that is the bronze. Let's go over the silver. The silver isn't much better. It only gets 80, 90, and 100. So if you're in silver one or below, you're gonna get less than 100 egg tokens a day. And might I add that most of your prize levels in silver and bronze are not that great. So then let's go into gold. Gold is the largest league in the entire system. And in this, depending on where you're at, you can get anything from 125 to 225 a day. This isn't for little guys, but it's not necessarily the best for big guys either. Now, platinum. Platinum is our next largest. And Platinum is a little more intense, but they're getting the tokens that they need if you're, a, let's say, above a level 100. This way that they can breed the things that they need. As for Sapphire, Sapphire is a really great place to be if you're high level, but if you're low level, it's going to be super intense for you. I'm not sure what kind of time you can put into it, but it will be super intense. And Diamond even more. So if you are a higher level and or med mediocre level and you can find a Sapphire or Diamond team to squeeze into, expect to be a regular player. So now let's go look at the team prizes for the gold level. First of all, I've got to do a shout out to my team, Royal Guardians. Super proud we took first place again. Okay, so if you look at the prizes, in the gold league, for us anyways, we're getting 250 sigils for first place. And the lowest rank is gonna get 125 sigils. So it's really good prizes. However, depending on the league structure that you're in, let's say you're in diamond, you're gonna get more than double that. You're gonna get like a thousand sigils for getting first place, of course. Or maybe it's even third place, I'm not for sure. However, if you were in like a bronze level, and I apologize, this is blurry. I found it on the internet, it's the best I could find. Um, you're not gonna get any sigils at all. These people down here are only gonna get rubies and of course their egg tokens. However, we don't get rubies, so it depends on how you look at it and what you need. Then you go into, this is a Sapphire League. I found an image of their prizes, they get double what we get actually a little more than double than what we get down here in gold however you have to work harder for it let's say you're a level 40 and you join a sapphire league and there's a pvp going on there's going to be pretty much no one you're going to be able to attack for points at such a low level 
So let's go through each level. Bronze. Bronze is the very low totem of the pole. Um, you're going to find out that here, like I said, you're not going to have very good team prizes, but wars will be easy to win. Most teams, except for those that just started a new team, aren't going to have high level players. This is just a great place if you go rogue and you need a break. Now, silver level. <clears throat> silver level is great for anyone that's in their teens, 20s, and 30s. Um, you're going to find plenty of people that you can beat during PvPs. It's going to be easy to win your your wars, etc., but yet still somewhat of a challenge for you. So these are great for your lower levels. As for gold level, gold level can also be a challenge for somebody that's low level. But when I say low level in this situation, I mean very low level. So if you are under, let's say, a level 40, make sure that you join a team that is very supportive and helpful of their lower level players. Because lower level players do grow and people forget that. Okay, for the Platinum League, it depends on what level Platinum League we're talking about. Low level Platinum, like Platinum level 4, they're going to be a lot like your higher golds, where as you climb up, it's going to be closer to your sapphires because people are fighting for that spot. This is something, if you're below level 50, I wouldn't touch this league because it's going to be high stress, unless you want that. Now, the um, Sapphire level, this is when it starts to get super intense. This is when you're going to be joining teams that war regularly. And if you don't do your wars, you're going to get kicked out. So if you're not at least a level 75 and very active, don't even think about it diamond level from what i understand and this is rumors i've never been in diamond level myself diamond level is not only super intense but you're going to have to expect to spend some money up here to be able to keep up with those around you so if those aren't for you then i would stick away from the diamond level as well so let's be realistic guys these leagues are set up for a specific reason and some people jump way too high into higher leagues than they should so work your way up just like as if you were working your way up within your rank, like within your own leveling. I would skip bronze, possibly skip silver, because I mean, you can get to level 30s and 40s pretty quickly and find yourself a gold team you can be a part of because you're still going to get decent prizes, good egg tokens, and you're going to get to prepare for the next league up. Well, I hope I answered everybody's questions. If there's something that I missed, feel free to comment in the video below. Be sure to give my video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Happy hunting!